uh, the warm up problem on matrix representation of linear transformation and i'm choosing the problem number uh, 5a say for example i am arbitrarily selecting from the uh, question uh, i mean from the exercise where it is written that define define a transformation from this vector space to the same vector space by where uh, at is denote called transpose of a transpose of a a is the matrix and you know it is a 2 by 2 matrix i'm talking about because it, here the vector space is m2 cross 2 f f is the field f can be any field it can be finite field it can be infinite field whatever we want to compute we want to want to compute t of alpha now if you can recall the matrix representation of linear transformation that i defined in my in our last class that what we do if t is a linear transformation from the vector space v to vector space w then first of all we try to find out the basis of uh, v beta is the basis of v and we also try to identify the basis of uh, w gamma is the basis of w and what we do we apply t on the basis of capital v and we try to find out what is gamma we try to find out how uh, something say for example k which can be expressed which can be expressed Uh, uh by gamma that means k is actually the function of gamma okay so i apply my transformation on the basis and i represent the outcome with respect to the basis of the codomain and you also got to know that matrix representation is written with this notation t beta gamma and we write it column wise that we explained i explained in the last class but here you see it is a special case here capital v and w they are actually same in this case v and w are same and if you can recall that i told you that any linear transformation from the vector space v to the same vector space v is actually a transformation which is special specifically known as linear operator so if t beta t beta gamma is the matrix representation of the transformation so here the two basis are basis are actually same and so we represent it as simply t beta we do not write t gamma uh, this gamma is not written because here gamma and beta are same here beta and gamma they are same because i am talking about the same matrix uh, same uh, vector space okay such a vector space is called linear operator i told you i told this i can recall so this is a special case so i am going to right therefore in this particular problem they have simply written uh, box t alpha so alpha is the basis over here now for a 2 by 2 matrix for 2 by 2 matrices the uh, basis elements are as follows the basis elements are as follows uh, if you can recall alpha is actually 1 0 0 0 that is one element of the basis 0 1 0 0 0 that is another element of the basis 0 0 1 0 0 0 that is another element and 0 0 0 0 1 that is another element of the basis these are called standard order basis because in matrix representation of linear transformation we always deal with standard order basis after that i am going to apply the transformation capital t or operator capital t on each of these elements so i am going to do it on the next page so you have you have already seen the basis elements so i'll come back to that particular page if as when required so 
I apply it on the first element T100. Okay, so and by the rule of the operator, this will become the transpose of the matrix. And this matrix is a symmetric matrix, so its transpose will be same as the matrix itself. Okay. Next, what we do, we apply it on the next matrix, next basis element, and we have to write this as transpose. So this becomes a little bit of change. There is a little bit of change over here. So it becomes zero one and zero zero. So we have got it. So next we are applying, we are going to apply the same transformation or operator on the third basis element. And we similarly get the transpose of the matrix of the basis element. And we write it as 0, 0, 1, 0. And lastly, we apply this on the last basis element that is, and we have to write it as the transpose of the given matrix. And this is also a symmetric matrix. So the matrix actually doesn't change. So we have got it. Now we have applied the, we have applied the transformation as I have, as I told you that we have to apply the transformation on the basis elements. So I have applied the transformation on all the basis elements. After that, we, we get K, some outcome, K is some outcome. So here we have got the outcome here. K is this one. This matrix is a K, this matrix is a K, this matrix is a K, this matrix is a K. And after that, since on the right hand side, we have the codomain, so we have to express the outcome in terms of the basis of the codomain. That is, we have to get, we have to represent K as a function of gamma. So here our objective is to represent this basis element, this outcome with respect to the basis element of the code of the codomain. But here codomain is same. Here V and W are same. So basis of V and basis of W are actually same. So we actually, we want to represent the outcome with respect to this basis itself. Okay, so therefore, therefore I can write it as, uh, since we know that this is the first basis element, so we can write it as one into one zero zero, then uh, rest of the part will be just uh, zero into that. So we are writing this as, uh, <clears throat> other elements are not present, so we are writing it as this. And this. Okay. This is the, we can write as uh, zero into one zero zero plus. Uh, 0 into 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, plus this is the third basis element. So I'll write 1 into 0, 0, 1, 0, plus 0 into 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. This is the, this is actually the second basis element. So I can write it as 0 into 1, 0, 0, plus 1 into 0, 1, 0, 0, plus 0 into 0, 0, 1, 0, plus 0 into 0, 0, 0, 1. And this I have to write as, this is the last basis element. So I have to write it as uh, 0 into 1, 0, 0, 0, plus uh, 1 into no, not one, that is zero into uh, zero, one, zero, zero, plus third one is also zero. So zero into zero, zero, one, zero, but fourth one is similar to that. So I can write it as one into zero, 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 one. So all the elements, all the Ks have been represented, represented as the basis element of this uh, vector space. So, I'm going to the next page. So my matrix T with respect to the basis alpha, here the basis alpha is this one. 
with respect to the basis alpha the matrix will be as follows so remember we actually do not write the we we have to write the coefficient as the matrix elements so we do not write the coefficient as 1 0 0 0 row wise we 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 actually write it column wise okay we actually write it column wise so we i am going to represent it in the following manner so 1 0 0 0 column wise i am transform transposing this 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
the space of all polynomials px with coefficients in r such that degree of px is less than or equal to n and let bn denote the standard basis the standard basis of pn given by given by bn is equal to 1x x square dot 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 x to the power n if capital t is a defined from p3 to p p4 is the linear transformation is the linear transformation defined by defined by t of px is equal to x square p dash x plus 0 to x pt dt and capital a aij is the 5 by 4 matrix 5 by 4 matrix of t with respect to respect to standard standard basis b3 and b4 then then small a option number a is a32 is equal to 3 by 2 and a33 is equal to 7 by 3 option number b is a32 is equal to 3 by 2 a33 is equal to 0 option number c is a32 is equal to 0 a33 is equal to 7 by 3 and option number d is a32 is equal to 0 a33 is equal to 0 I, we have 5 minutes 15 seconds left for this session. Okay, I'm, I'm just checking the options 3 by 2, 7 by 3, 3 by 2, 0, 0, 7 by 3, 0, 0. Now, I have, uh, I'm giving you uh, time for solving this particular problem. Try to solve this particular problem. Many things have been explained in this particular problem. I don't just get lost in the, this vast amount of notations. This, this set of notations they have used. Okay, the notations, we, we use notation beta, they have used the notation bn. So you have to try to be, try to remain in the domain of the knowledge you have gathered from, by attending the class of matrix representation of linear transformation. Suppose this problem, if I give this problem to you in the examination, then you will start shouting the star, this problem is very, very tough, very tough, very tough, without even reading it. Because you will be, what you will do, you will not read all the lines, all the lines properly. You will just see that this is a notation. This is a notation. Okay, but it's small px. I have never seen it. Oh my God, what is this? Dig. 
without ever thinking that dig stands for degree. It may be a degree. Okay, then you will say that always we try to use tried beta and gamma, but here it is B n is given. We have never attempted this. Then what is this? Even if you and what are these elements? Moreover, you will not understand. Suddenly, you will be so much uh, confused that you will not understand these things. What are these? You will not understand that it is the element. These are the matrix because you are going to get a matrix, and this, these are these can be the uh, cell values. You will not suddenly you will get you will be lost. If I give this exam this particular question in the examination, and I know that, and I know that, therefore. Yes, last night I thought that I would be setting this question in the examination. Right now, I have changed my mind. I want to eliminate the fear of mathematics from your mind, and fear of mathematics can only be eliminated if you do mathematics. Okay, you do any subject, reading definitions, uh, doing doing, uh, putting some lever to onto onto the subject, uh, uh, your core subject. if you are doing if i very good programmer if you claim that i am a very good programmer that doesn't mean that doesn't uh, I, nobody cares if you can if you think you are a good programmer that means you can claim that if you can finish the book of design of algorithms by coleman then you have solved all its exercises then you can claim that yeah i am a good programmer i know this how to design algorithms i have finished this book i have done all the exercises of coleman that is the thing i'm telling i'm not i'm not uh, marketing my subject i'm trying to change your attitude okay Let's try to do it i'm not uh, i'm pausing the video i shall hear from you in the next session i ask all the students to be remain prepared i can choose any one student and i can i i'll i'll ask him or her to unmute himself or herself in the class and together myself and the student that student i have not yet decided are going to solve this problem so be prepared for the next session